What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to be going over how to set up authorized.net on your WooCommerce store. So you may have authorized.net um, for your merchant account and you're just trying to you know connect authorized.net to a, your website. So the first step would be to go and get the official uh, WooCommerce authorized.net plugin. I know there's a couple options out there but this updated plugin ensures that whether you're doing, you know, authorize.net with CIM, AIM, all the other variations that it works with your account. So go and get this plugin, and then after purchasing this plugin, you can see the link in the bio. You're gonna go to your WooCommerce um, dashboard. So in this example, I am going to go to um, my WooCommerce slash WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna log in. Sweet. So next, I am going to go to plugins and I am going to add a new plugin and I am going to upload this plugin that I just purchased from WooCommerce, this authorize.net, the zip file, and I'm going to click install now. Okay, so I'm installing this plugin. Um, the destination folder already exists, so I must have. Um, we're just gonna keep going. I already installed this plugin before, to make sure I was ready for the tutorial. So, I'm gonna activate the plugin after installing it. Sweet, and now I'm gonna go um, to WooCommerce. I'm gonna click Settings. I'm gonna go to Payments. And you're gonna have to click Enable to enable the authorize.net. And if you want e-checks, you can click enable for e-checks as well. Um, right now, we're just gonna do authorize that net credit card. And I'm gonna click enable, and then I'm gonna click manage. Sweet, so you're gonna have to enable this gateway, and um, you're gonna go through these settings, and you wanna do card security codes, unless you have a really good example. You're always gonna wanna charge instead of authorize. Authorize just means like, hey, we can charge you, a, or we can authorize, you know, $10 to charge your account, but we might not charge you for another, you know, week or three to five days. And 95% of the time you want to charge right away. So don't change that unless you have a really good excuse or really good, uh, what's the word? Really good reason. So I always have tokenization. So if customers are on my account, I can allow them to check out at a uh, user same payment method to check out. Um, again, this is also really key for you know, WooCommerce subscriptions, if you have subscriptions on your store and you want to allow customers to, you know, be on subscription plans and automatically charge their payment. And then detailed decline messages. Um, I just leave this checked off unless there's, you know, we're getting a bunch of, um, you know, declines on our store and there's a good reason to turn them on. Debug mode, keep it off. And right now, I'm just gonna keep this on production. I do have another video of how to set up a sandbox account with your authorized.net account that I have, and we'll put in the link in the bio if you guys wanna check that out. And then right here, so we have our API, login ID, transaction key, signature key. So for this, I need to go to my authorized.net dashboard, right? So I'm gonna to go to authorized.net. I'm gonna click sign in, and I'm a merchant, okay? And I'm gonna log in. And right now, you know, I, I need to connect my merchant account. But if for this example, assume that you already have your merchant account and you're just trying to set up Authorize.net for your WooCommerce store, and maybe you've you know been using Authorize.net for a couple of years, you're just trying to use the updated WooCommerce plugin, maybe you're just migrating to WooCommerce. Anyways, I'm gonna grab our API key so we can set up this payment method. So with that, I'm gonna go to account, okay? And then next, I'm gonna click API, credentials, and keys, okay? And then from here, um, I can see my API login ID right there. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put in my API login ID right here, okay? But now, if I come in and I go dual screen for a second, I'm gonna go dual screen, Okay, and I want to put 
or I need to add in my transaction key and my signature key. So I need to go and get a new transaction key. This is important. So um, whether you, you currently have a WooCommerce store, you might want to make sure that this transaction key is not being used on like a live store um, or anywhere else, but you can regenerate it. So I'm going to regenerate it, the new transaction key, and request my PIN. Okay, and now I need to go to my email real quick. And I'm going to grab this PIN. Cool, so now I'm getting my new transaction key. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. Okay, and now I need to get my new signature key. So I need to go back to API credentials and keys. Okay, and I need to get a new signature key as well. And I'm just going to click submit. And I need to get another PIN. So make sure, you know, whoever has the account that you have access to the email so you can do this. Sweet, and now I'm getting my new signature key. So I always copy this to a clipboard um, just to make sure I don't have any issues. And I'm gonna paste this. And then there you go. That's all to it, guys. I've um, put in my API login D ID, transaction key, and signature key, and now I am able to um, have this be set up as a payment method on my WooCommerce store. So for an example, I'm going to go and I'm going to add a product to the cart of this store and I'm going to update this quantity to one just for reason's sake. And when I proceed to checkout, you will notice that I have this option to pay with a credit card um, with authorized.net and I can save it to my account so I can use it next time. Um, People that have accounts also can add additional payment methods and they can be saved to their account. So overall, that's how to set up Authorize.net, everyone. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button and see you next time. And comment what video you wanna see next. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Peace out.